This video is on geographical considerations. Geographical considerations include many things from unique business requirements to local laws. Prior to cloud computing, assets needed to be on premises as well as backup data center in a close nearby area. However, companies can now leverage cloud services which do give more flexibility on geographical considerations. For example, a company may have information assets on premises at their corporate location but also use Amazon Web Services for additional compute and storage resources for potentially different types of data. Regardless, you must take into consideration that the incident may disrupt everything in your particular building. From natural disasters like hurricane to accidents like fire or electrical problems, one must be prepared depending on geographical locations. Florida, for example, gets a lot of hurricane, so it is helpful to have some sort of recovery site just above that particular area. This includes a lot of other considerations that goes with it like distance, travel cost, insurance costs, and much more. Then you must also consider business requirements. If your business requires faster speed and also needs to be near a particular partner company, you must see if the location have what you need. Otherwise, you will need to work out a deal to install fiber for your business requirements. You also need to think about the legal issues. There could be very different business regulations between the states. If you have part of the business in a different country, you must be able to ensure that all personnel can travel internationally as required. This also includes legal questions about where the data resides. If you have data residing in a particular country, it tends to be subjected to that laws of the country because that's where the data was captured and stored. This means that any legal monitoring or any court orders will be subject to the country's regulation where that data resides.